Today we're going to talk about subject-verb agreement. In English, the verb of a sentence sometimes changes depending on its subject, depending on who is doing the action. Usually, this change is the difference between a singular subject, that's one, or a plural subject, which is two or three or four or many, okay? So we're going to look at some of the basic rules for choosing singular or plural verbs based on their subjects. So let's look at our examples. Our first example is, my sister lives in Nevada. Because we have sister, one sister, we use a singular verb. In the simple present, we make verbs singular by adding s at the end. So we have a singular noun and a singular verb. Now, of course, we can change this to show a plural example. Maybe I have two sisters. We can say, my sisters live in Nevada. Because we have two sisters now, we change the verb to be a plural form of the verb. My sisters live in Nevada. We can also do this if you have sort of more than one subject in the sentence. I'll show you an example. We can say, my brother and sister live in Nevada. Now we see sister with the verb and we think, oh, it's singular. We should have a singular verb. But in this case, the subject is brother and sister together, which is like they. It's two people and it's plural. So we need that plural verb, live. My brother and sister live in Nevada. Okay, let's go on to another example. These two kind of go together. We have every baby is different and each car and truck comes with airbags. These words every and each have a special rule. With every and each, they'll come together with a noun. Every baby, each car and truck. And every and each will always come together with a singular noun. Every baby, we cannot say every babies. Each car and truck. We cannot say each cars and trucks. No. And since we're using singular nouns with every and each, we'll use a singular verb also. Every baby is different. Each car and truck comes, singular, comes with airbags. So we have every with a singular noun and a singular verb, and each with a singular noun, two singular nouns in this case, and a singular verb. Even though we have these two nouns, it's still singular. This is one of those really weird rules with each. Because we're using each, we use our singular noun and singular noun, we still use a singular verb when we're using each and every. This is also true for uh, things like everything, everybody, everyone. These will always use singular nouns also. All right, let's go to our next example. That box of books is heavy. This sentence is a little bit confusing because we have two nouns here, box and books, and our verb is. We have to look for the main subject noun of the sentence. In this case, box. Of books is a prepositional phrase describing the box. Okay? So box, the one box, is the subject of this sentence. We can say that box is heavy. That box of books is heavy. 
even though this look this is a plural noun here we still need a singular verb because the main the subject of the sentence the subject of the verb is singular all right let's look at our last example listening to music is relaxing here our subject is listening and this is a gerund that's when we use an ing verb to act like a noun gerunds like listening are always singular so we use the singular verb is for this example <laughs>